Welcome back. Uh, we're here today with the Raspberry Pi 2, the $40 computer, and we're showing off uh, poor man's thermal imaging. I know I haven't been uh, doing a lot of videos lately. I've been too busy working. Uh, hopefully this one makes up for it. It's pretty cool. The first part of this is the Raspberry Pi camera and the sensor that's connected to it on the right. That sensor on the right there with the wires coming off of it is called an MLX90620, and it's an I2C temperature sensor. The thing that's special about it is that it has more than one pixel. It's actually got 64 temperature sensors and a 16 by 4 array. So theoretically we should be able to grab the temperatures off of whatever it's pointed at uh, and create a, a temperature map. Um, since we've got it connected to the camera, then we can overlay the temperature map onto the pictures that the camera generates. Now, in order to demonstrate this, we've got a can of Coca-Cola, uh, it's nice and cold, and a hot burning candle. If we come over here to the monitor, you can see on the HDMI monitor that uh, the cold can of Coke is showing up as blue and purple, and that everything around the burning candle is red, uh, and everything behind is green. If we actually switch the objects around, you can see that within a second or two the heat map catches up and we still end up with a nice cold can of soda that's purple and blue and a, and a red burning candle. Uh, the image itself has been turned into grayscale and, uh, and if you want to see if I blow out the candle since there's still heat there it's still going to glow red for quite some time and you can see the can of soda is still purple. Um, the actual, that little line of heat that you see in the can of soda at some angles, uh, the orange spot right there, that's actually a reflection of the heat coming off of the, the candle. And you can see that the candle here is still burning red. So, so there's a demonstration of a poor man's thermal imaging with the Raspberry Pi 2 and the MLX90620. That 90620 is about an $80 sensor. So that means uh, for about $130, $140 plus the cost of whatever monitor you use, uh, you can create your own little thermal imaging device. I'll go ahead and try and get the code up on GitHub within the next uh, day or two as well. Uh, my username on GitHub is AlphaCharlie, but I will post a link on this video as well. Have a good night.